Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. In the field of radiology, we see a great deal of unusual and unique things worthy of telling colleagues and raising questions about the events. In the fray of our work, we often find ourselves so focused on tasks that we can overlook or even discount experiences that a patient might express to us, not in a malicious way, but more along the lines that we understand the scope of our trade where the patient might not fully understand their environment. To that, I recall on several occasions, both as a radiology student and as a technologist, whereas patients would present that during their x-ray examination, they were certain that they felt something. I mean, it was rare, but I had heard it a few times. Not only did I encounter this, but every other staffer had heard it more than once themselves, too. Now, every time this occurred, the techs would nod their heads and explain it away as perhaps the air condition, a vibration, or even a bodily twitch. But amongst themselves, my colleagues found it very difficult to believe. I myself usually shrugged it off as probably something else. But there is one small piece of information that could give credence to these claims. It is information that many x-ray operators seem to have forgotten since their schooling. You see, back in 1895, when x-rays were discovered, William Conrad Rinkin established the 12 properties of x-rays. Now what is amazing about this is that these properties have remained the same for over a hundred years. In other words, we've known all about x-rays virtually since their discovery every single aspect. These 12 properties have never been changed, never been added on to, or never been diminished. And there is one particular property that can cause people to pause when encountering patients who say they felt something during their x-ray exam. And that property states just this, x-rays can produce small amounts of heat. That's right. You definitely can't start a fire with it, but now that we've established this fact, we can no longer completely discount the possibility that patients actually sense or feel something. None of these patients ever express that these sensations are profound or even obvious, but there is generally a slight reaction followed by perhaps a little confusion. They weren't supposed to feel anything, and yet they did. Let's include one more property that could add more fuel to this fire. Pardon the pun. X-rays can penetrate matter. In other words, when X-rays are administered, they actually pass through your cells, organs, and tissues while simultaneously generating heat, all in a split second. So now, the thought of feeling something during this process doesn't seem so crazy, does it? Now, there is no science that backs this up, nor are there research studies that will substantiate this. However, if you are one of those people who swears that during your last x-ray examination, you felt a flash or a glimmer of something, I hope this video serves as an encouragement that it may not have been your imagination. As for me, I can't confirm it either way, but now I'm not so quick to shrug off the I felt it remark. That concludes this segment on I felt x-rays pass through me. Am I crazy? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner and I'm the radiology coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.